You know, we hear about mass shootings quite a bit around the country, and local officials are trying to be ready should something like that happen around here. Robert Sir has an exclusive look tonight for us at some of the preparations locally for active shooter drills. It's a typical Wednesday here at the Pride offices in North Bismarck as the halls and offices are filled with joy and laughter. But later this afternoon, those same hallways will be filled with yelling and screaming and everything else that goes along with a mass shooting. That's because Heartland Consulting is here to conduct an active shooter exercise. But putting one of these on isn't exactly an easy task and can take over 40 hours of planning alone. When we come on scene to, um, to do a full event or full exercise, uh, we might spend half the day or more just setting up, getting uh, everything staged, getting the smoke machines in place, getting weapons in place that shoot blanks, um, makeup on the victims to make them look realistic. You know, the list just kind of goes on and on. It's a multi-step process that sometimes involves building a simulated city to show where emergency responders will be positioned. Before each drill, employees triple check their weapons, supplied to them by Hollywood, to make sure they are filled with nothing but fake ammo or blanks. <laughs> then it's on to makeup, which can range from gunshot wounds and broken legs, all the way to shards of glass sticking out of people's faces. Each situation is unique. Tony Baker is the CEO of Pride and tells me why he decided to hold an active shooter exercise for his employees. The reality is the world we live in has changed and violence in the workplace and active shooters are uh, just one of the things we have to deal with now and we want to be prepared in case we ever have a situation like that. They hope by the end of the day employees head home to their families with the knowledge of what to do when the unthinkable happens so that when and if it does, their families have a better chance of them returning home. Reporting for KX News, I'm Robert Sir. With today's exercise over, Heartland officials are headed for Grand Forks for a final planning session, and then they'll be back for a drill next week at South Central High School. Yeah, some pretty real stuff there.